And I put a star next to 1975, and I refer to the period from 1975 to 1989 as the golden years. This is when the American foreign policy establishment becomes firmly committed to NATO. Uh, note here, I'm not saying the American public, right? I'm saying the foreign policy establishment in 1975 becomes firmly committed to NATO. Now what happened there? It's very simple, because I started graduate school in 1975, and I can tell you the mindset, and it influenced my initial research in graduate school. Vietnam War ends in 1975. Vietnam War basically runs from 65, 1965 to 1975. When the Vietnam War is over with, the last thing the United States wants to think about is intervening in another country in the third world with military force. So what we do is we focus laser-like on Europe. Europe becomes the center of attention for people who study strategy. The foreign policy establishment says, let's think about Europe. Let's not think about another Vietnam. Foreign policy establishment at that point in time becomes firmly committed to Europe. No more doubts, no more Mansfield Amendment. And from that day up to the present, you're dealing with a foreign policy establishment that is firmly committed to staying in Europe come hell or high water. 